If you're a truck fan like I am and you're passionate about trucks, check it out. I got a cool video for you. I'm in Fort Wayne Assembly, home of the Sierra and Silverado light duties. I'm gonna talk you through the process of how they're getting built. I got my cool glasses on. I'll play some video and we'll talk about how these trucks are coming off the semi line coming up right now. Tim Estrelow, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. If trucks and SUVs are your passion like they are mine, hit subscribe below, hit the notification to be notified when the videos put out. This is the frame process, so they know, they bring these frames in and they start the process of building the trucks. So again, we're adding differentials and we're adding the uh, transmissions, housing in this stage of the process. Finish line behind me. Uh, what's interesting is they know how many frames fit on a truck and they know the bridge heights between here and the frame facility. And so they bring over as many as they can and this is the start of the process. So I'm going to play some video for you. I'll do some B-roll because it's maybe hard to hear me. And I'll wrap it all up. So sit back, pop the top, and uh, get ready to watch the truck being built. It's always a good time. Over right here. So we built it upside down over here. Then it goes right side up. And as we design the chassis and the frame, we take into account the end effectors, the loads on the frame, where you grab it so that you don't you don't uh, hurt the frame if you're, if you're processing it. So highly engineered, how it comes in and grabs it. You can see our full-size truck logo. Yeah. And there's another logo. So I mean, to be clear, it comes in upside down so you can put all the differentials and the yeah, put, cases and stuff actual, on it. Then it comes through and flips around. Muffler yep. and all kind of stuff. Yep, everything that you want, you want to load from the bottom up or you can put upside down. Front axle, rear axle, springs, control arms, uh, exhaust systems that would be on the underside of the of the cross member. Then it comes down and, and uh, you see a pump. You know, I think the gas tank comes in down here and some other things. Then we'll set the engine. Alright, so there's the engines up top, and the frame coming down the line. So the frame, this is where the frame started at down there. They put some more pieces on it, get it ready for the, for the engine to put on it. Comes through here, gets, this is kind of a, you can see it coming around the corner. It gets in position, the frame gets in position. And the engine comes down to meet it, and then those guys, like you just saw, they put it in. Alright, here we go. We got the frame upside down. We're putting the engine in and transmission connected. Two guy operation. He, gets, he connects the drive shaft. Yep. Yep. Find that drive shaft, drops it down. Now, do they bolt it here? Or do they probably not? They just put it down? Okay. So, there's the engine coming down. Yep. So how many how many conveyor belts do you I mean we got one, two three? Yeah yeah One spot that get built up over in the other part of the plant. You saw the tip, the bulk of the chassis line. They come down in parallel and they come in. This is this was uh, all new for us. And this is this is different than line spacing and everything because this project has integrated front end sheet metal. That means the fenders and hood and everything come on from the body shop all the way through the process. Where before. It was just truncated at the at the front of the cab. They come down and they they connect each other, and then this is all automatic. How it uh, sets the body, runs the fasteners uh, vertical.
truck goes on the frame, the robots come in and they're putting the bolts in connecting the frame to the cabin. The cabin. The rolls off the line and moves on the final production. They take the doors off, they'll do the interior, they'll fill the fluids, they go back and put them back together. So you can see. The frame comes in. Now the frame's already been flipped. It's already had the uh, engine on it. It's already got the rotors on it. It's got the brakes. It's got the springs on it. It's been disconnected. The body coming in is from a separate body shop that they build it all and they paint with it and then they uh, bring it in on the conveyor belt right here on factory site. And they finish it all up. Pretty cool process. They said he used to do it in the pit. He used to have guys who need the long sticks and we guide in the frame, we guide in the, the cab, and they put the screws on, but this is more efficient and safer. It's really, a lot more quality too, a lot more uh, exact placement and stuff, and a much better quality build. So here's the end of the line when it comes out, and you can see they stack it up, and they're bringing it around the stacks, and then they check the torque of the bolts, double check that stuff. Again, checking about quality kind of stuff. And it comes down the line and it goes around and then they'll do the rest of the stuff, tires, interior, all that kind of stuff right in there. What's new here is you, this is the doors off process. It comes from the body shop, they're all set, fit, just right. Uh, but then they'll take them off and they'll ship them to another part of the plant and they'll, they'll build the doors up the doors. On originally, the doors were on originally? The doors originally comes out, they paint it with the doors, uh, then you can see it, it uh, moves over here, they trim out the door, and it converts itself back in line. But the barcodes keep them? Yes, the sequence keeps them together. Is that relatively new? Or no, is it they've been doors off for decades. It's uh, easier. It's just easier to, rather than, and then you're walking, it gives you access to the cab. See, the size of that opening in right. that is highly engineered for, because the instrument panel and how we break up the instrument panel pieces to get it in the door. So where the center console breaks or stops from the IP, we know where that is and we know how to tip it and we run simulations in the computer to make sure it can go into the front. And so what else is unique here on this program is that um, the fenders are on, the hood's on. Before, it was just the front of the cab. So when you put the IP in, you could actually stand on the, the carrier and you could bolt down the IP. You could put in a bunch of stuff on the top of it. Now we have an integrated front end sheet metal. And what that does is it reduces the number of fasteners, reduces weight by quite a bit. The structural feel, the beaming, the torsion of the vehicle, its ride character, um, is greatly improved for, for that kind of feature on the vehicle. So that's, uh, that's one of the things. And, but then manufacturing had to come in and take those things into account. Spacing on the floor, you know, because you, you couldn't get the jobs as tight as, uh, now that you, as you could before. And you, then you built the fenders on and the, and the hood. The other part of that is that you cannot, the body shop can't argue if it was fit right or not. Uh, be, because when it gets to the end of the line, because it comes fit the way it should be fit. Before we would apply the fenders and the hood, and it was quite the quite the process to get the front end to, to fit on it. So the robot takes the door, it's it, it, putting on the uh, bolt, putting on the pins, the whole door. They're taking it off, excuse me. This is door removal. Yeah, so they take the doors off so you can finish doing the interior. And they'll put them on back on later. But same process, just reverse with the doors on. They come from body shop with the doors on. 
Okay, after the doors come off, they're going to go ahead and put all the exterior, interior stuff on. The uh, power window locks, the motors for the windows, all the windows inside going up. And they're going to put all the door panels on and they'll put the, um, all the trim pieces on. It goes up the top on the conveyor belt and then it'll get reattached to the truck as it goes through the line. Final line production. This is the actual speed too. I think it's molasses. There it goes. All right, that was a tour of the Fort Wayne Assembly Plant. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember, if you're a truck fan like I am, hit subscribe below, bell notification to be notified of new videos put out. Like button if you like this content. Make sure you find us at pickuptrucktalk.com. Also type it in Pickup Truck Talk. Three words, made it really simple. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, we're there. You'll find us as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.